Anglers Extra. Deck here for the Chatham Anglers in Brewster as they're set to take on the Whitecaps. I'm Aaron Canada alongside John Schiffner, and this is the Manager Show on the Cape Cod Baseball Network. Well, first and foremost, uh, Schiff, you guys are 3-0. and and an off day yesterday, what did you tell the guys before uh, before they went out to uh, enjoy Chatham yesterday? I told them to make sure they don't enjoy Chatham too much, that we do have a game the next day. So, uh, you know, we'll see how we respond to uh, the day off after, uh, you know, a nice win the other night. and Let's see how they act. It's, it, you know, that, that's all about preparation. It's all about, you know, focus. And let, let's see how they, see how they handle it today. Let's see how, how well we played today. You really got to love the resolve of this team going uh, twice into extra innings in consecutive nights and coming off with big wins to make it 3-0. and Very proud of them. Uh, proud of all of them. Uh, we, we showed what a good team has to have to be successful. You know, we got clutch pitching, clutch hitting, good defense. You know, everything was there in those games, and that's, you know, that's what we have to carry throughout the rest of the summer. Talk about that three-run blast by Aura Pace of the other night. That that was just a beauty. Oh my God, yeah, that was uh, majestic. I think comes to mind, monumental, uh, awesome, uh, incredible. It was uh, it was quite a blast at, at the right moment. It was, uh, you know, it was uh, just incredible. It was really neat to watch. And we talk about one through nine. This lineup is really talented, especially that middle of the lineup with Ginther and Paolini and and Aura Pace and, and you know top of the order too, Verdon and uh, and Humphreys as well. I mean, one through nine. We talk about how how great this lineup is, and uh, considering the mentality and the defense and the pitching, I mean, it's a really good squad this year. It's well, it is. You know, let, let's let, let's hold on and just let's see. We got uh, 39. No, we got uh, 41 games left. We're we we think we're in a pretty good position, but uh, everybody's in that same position. Lots of teams are have a lot of players that still aren't town but you know for those first three games it's certainly there's a lot of promise there I, mean, I certainly see a lot of promise but you know I don't want to you know all of a sudden say a, a 44-0 record is in jeopardy so I don't think that's going to happen. What do you and the other coaches like to stress day in and day out as far as you know getting these guys out here and getting them to go through the fundamentals and and getting up to play every day? Well I think that's part of it is just getting them up to play because they're not accustomed to that they play you know, four days a week in college. There's a, a mandatory day off in college. Uh, a lot of them aren't uh, prepared for the grueling schedule, and we're in, we're very fortunate. The league did some did some modifications this year to the schedule early on by allowing us to get some more days off early. But once we get past July 1st, there's not going to be a lot of days off, and these guys are going to have to get used to that because they're going to see that in professional baseball. So it's going to be a matter of preparation. It's going to be a matter of making sure they keep their strength up. Matter of they have to get the proper rest, uh, and you know, just just play a grueling ruling schedule and that's what it can be especially with fog and rain coming you know it's going to happen it's it's I haven't seen too many summers where it's been real dry there's you know there's going to be a good stretch where somebody is going to go 10 12 14 days in a row and that's a pretty tough schedule uh, especially if you're not used to it so that's part of what we have to do is continue to remind them that you know get your rest eat well uh, you know and make sure you're stretching make sure you're healthy Speaking of grueling, it's it's pretty hot out here, as it evidenced by the uh, sweat on the brows of most of the players and spectators alike. Uh, but it's been pretty cold and pretty damp for the first couple of games. What does that do to you to uh, to change your managing style, if at all, and the way the guys play the game? Nah, nothing real. No real big change. Uh... You, you just let them play baseball. That's, I think, the strength of our coaching staff is we're not going to try to reinvent the game. Uh, we're going to work on them. If we see some, a flaw here or a flaw there, we're going to work on that. But we're not reinventing the game and trying to make these kids do something. They've changed something they've been doing since they've been five years old. Play baseball, and, you know, that's what we stress as a coaching staff. We're not going to do crazy things. Play the game of baseball. Play it the right way. Respect the game, and let's see what happens. Big doubleheader coming up tomorrow at Katuit. How do you, how do you prepare going into something like that? Well, right now we've got to get you know get this game under our belt first, which in, in, a, in a way it's kind of good. We're we're almost guaranteed not to play more than ten or eleven innings today because it's, there's no lights here, so that's a good thing. We're not going to blow the pitching staff going into a doubleheader tomorrow. So, uh, you know, first of all you got to take care of Brewster, and then we'll worry about Katuit. Uh, you know, Katuit coached by Coach Roberts. They're, they're we know they're going to run a lot, uh, so we're you know going to make sure we remind our players. You know, keep your heads up on defense. Don't let them delay steal on you. Don't let them steal and off counts, things like that. But right now we got to worry about Brewster. He's John Schiffner. I'm Aaron Canada. It's the Manager Show on the Cape Cod Baseball Network. Go Anglers!